Windows 10 is the latest operating system developed by Microsoft which is constantly updated and new features are added time and again. So I'm using Windows 1909 as of date of recording right here and let us learn about how to work around with Windows in this lesson, uh, uh, this tutorial series right here. So now you can see that I'm already logged in and I have uh, my desktop shown right here. So desktop is a place where uh, you might want to store in files that you want to immediately access. So in my case, I have a YouTube uh, a keyword file right here. That's a text document which is stored right here. And it is suggested that the desktop uh, should be left clean because it can be messy real, uh, real fast right here. So in my case, you can see that there, you, there's this PC right here. You might not be able to see this in your uh, desktop and we'll learn about how to enable those in future lessons. So you can work around with the files so you can keep the files anywhere you want in the desktop. And if you want to see more option, you can right click and here you can see that you can work around with the view settings. You can go and uh, work with the sort out settings. You have the refresh option, graphic card option. So in my case, I've installed Nvidia. So you can go to Nvidia control panel from here. And you, you can create new folders and a bunch of new files by using new right here. You can also go to the display setting and personalization setting right here. So once you click on that, you can see that you can access these settings, which you're going to see in future lessons right here. So that is the desktop. Over here at the bottom is something that you always see, and that is the taskbar. And the taskbar has the icons, immediate icons, which you can launch applications with. So in my case, you can see that there's Camtasia, which I use to record my tutorials. And here's the file explorer right here, Firefox browser, Chrome browser, mail, and Facebook messenger. So uh, depending on how much you custom customize it, uh, you might not see all of these icons. You might see this and just this as well. Uh, that is a file explorer and the task switcher, as you can see. Here you can see is the Cortana set, so you can type it in, uh, anything to search over here, or use the Cortana a voice command to search for things, which you're going to see in further lesson as well. Here you can see that there's the time setting and the icon setting over here. So you can adjust the taskbar in many ways, which you're going to see in future lessons. So you can right click to get the taskbar options over here so that you can customize it in the way you want. On the left side, you can see that there's the window. So if I were to see um, the, there's the window icon, which is the start button. So if you were to click it, you can see that you have a bunch of applications. So you had a bunch of pinned application on the right and over here on the left, there's some applications. So you can scroll down on the top, there's the recently used applications. And over here, if you scroll down, you see all the applications that you recently used out. So here, as you can see, this is my user and this is uh, how, um, how you can access the documents, pictures, settings, and you can turn off your computer by pressing on the power button right here. So this is how uh, Windows 10 is arranged out uh, just like that. So we'll learn about how to work around with Windows 10 and get familiar with this operating system so that uh, you can install applications yourself, browse the web, and do simple troubleshooting without needing much help. And that is very important because uh, these days you do basically everything in a computer. So it helps to uh, know these basic things firsthand and not uh, call for support each and every time. So we'll learn how, uh, about how to work around with Windows and get the best out of it in further lessons. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.